hello, hello, everyone. <laughs> hello, hello, everyone. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm in a weird mood today. Hi, guys. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I thought I would turn on the camera and film a quick little video because I have exactly one hour before my bloom session with my beautiful mentee. So today's video is going to be just kind of a little mishmash of random stuff. I have a couple things I want to show you that I purchased since Halloween haul hunting part three. <laughs> There's just two things. And I thought I would just kind of do a little chit chat and talk to you guys about the Halloween season, what's happening to the, the transitioning into fall and just like little updates and just whatever. So this is kind of one of those little random videos where everything is just piled up together. And yeah, so if you are interested in checking that out, if you wanna spend some quality time with me, grab something to drink, get cozy, and let's get into it. As always, I have, as always, I say it as if I do this all the time, which I don't, but <laughs> it is spooky season in my in my uh, world. So I am wearing another spooky shirt. I am wearing my Chainsaw Massacre t-shirt, and I love this one. And yeah, I just, I thought I would kind of show that off because you can't really see it. But I always feel like I'm like so close <laughs> in the videos. You know what? Maybe I should try zooming out. I wonder if I could do that. I don't know. I guess maybe there is a way to do it. I know there is a way when you're taking photos. I don't know. But I need some lotion because my hands feel so dry. <laughs> so even though um, it's spooky season in my heart and in my world, in my little bubble that I live in, um, it is still summer. It's hot outside. The AC is rolling. And my skin is so dry. It is so dry. It's awful. <sighs> Lavender. If you guys like lavender lotion, speaking of, Dr. Teal's body lotion. This is lavender. It smells so good. I always get asked this every once in a while when I when people see me putting lotion on in my videos. This is the lotion I wear. I get this at uh, Walmart. And they actually sell shampoos and conditioners, which I use every once in a while. But it does dry out my skin, like my scalp. <laughs> So I try not to use it too often, um, but oh, it just smells so good. It is so good. So that's the lotion I'm always putting on my hands. I do have a couple things that I want to show you guys <laughs> that I want to show you guys. Since the Halloween haul video part three, I can't really remember off the top of my head what I've added to the collection since and really not that much, to be honest. Like I've gone to a couple stores. We went to Joann's the other day, which surprisingly, the only thing I bought from Joann's was two packs of spooky cloth, the creepy cloth, because I knew I was going to need it for my um, displays. And that's literally all I bought from Joann's. My husband and I also went to Ross, which was definitely, it, there was nothing there. <laughs> I didn't get anything from there. And where else did we go? I think that same day we were going to go to Target and I was just, I was so tired. I had already started taking out um, a lot of my Halloween decor and just starting to prep, you know, the process of like decorating. And I was already exhausted. So I don't, we didn't even go to Target. I still have not gone to Target. And then yesterday, I was kind of like a little, not a date. I mean, I call these like little date nights, but not, it's not date night, but it's like a little, just like a little thing for me and my hubby to go out, just to get out for a little bit before he goes to work. Uh, we grabbed dinner and then we went to Home Depot because Home Depot put out their Halloween stuff. And I had called ahead for not Home Depot, but for Lowe's and Lowe's had told me Friday they were going to have everything out. So I have not gone to Lowe's, but we did go to Home Depot yesterday and I picked up a witchy witch. If you could see her back here. Oh, she's going to be. She, <laughs> here she is right here. She is a, how tall are you? Three feet. She's a three foot tall animatronic. This, she's literally my first animatronic. I I've, I've have like tiny little, like I have a spooky tree and I have, 
you know, like little tiny things, but she's my first like big animatronic. And I know out there like Home Depot had some like six foot tall, huge animatronics. And she's like my first one and I'm excited. So she's much smaller and she can be in the house. <laughs> so let me show you what she does. She has a little potion bottle here in her hand, if you could see. And I will put her on for you so you guys can see what she what she says and what she does. Let's drink my magic potion and dance. She dances. <laughs> She literally dances. So I thought that the, I thought that was so cute because she's like loopy because she's had too much to drink. She <laughs> she's like me after I've had, you know, a couple margaritas. And I'm like, I love witches. I love her face. She just has that creepy face. <laughs> and she's just perfect. I love that she's green. She's just the epitome of a witchy witch. And the fact that she's like loopy off of her potion, I just think she's super cute. And my husband says she's gonna be creepy if we put her in the house, but I have an idea of where I'm gonna put her. I wanna put her in the hallway because I'm gonna do a whole witch theme in the hallway. But for the sake of my sanity and the fact that I will probably scare myself in the middle of the night when I get up, um, I'm probably gonna keep her in the living room. So, <laughs> so that is our witch. It literally was like I had my child in the cart. It was so funny. And so we picked up two other items. My husband really wanted to get some animatronic pumpkins. We couldn't decide. There was like a couple of them there. We couldn't decide, but I he was like, you pick. And I'm like, I decided to we should go with this one because he laughs. He has kind of like a little cackle. So let, let me play him for you. <laughs> Have you come for a treat or for a trick? <laughs> so I really like that he talks. Ah, yet another creature of the night approaches. <laughs> I love that he cackles. I love the, that he's white, so he kind of looks ghostly, you know? So we went with him, and then we also got another pumpkin. My, my husband got a larger, one of those larger ones where the, the face lights up, but I didn't want to bring him in the room because he's he's big and I already have like all this other stuff. So it's, I just love it. So we we <laughs> we splurged a little bit on that and it was a lot of fun. They had the cinnamon brooms at Home Depot. I have one over here, if you guys could see. That's my broomstick up there. She doesn't smell like cinnamon anymore. She's from last year. <laughs> but I, I had went crazy and I bought um, an extra broom. So I have two extras in my closet. They don't even smell like cinnamon anymore. But because I'm doing a witch theme in the hallway, I'm gonna use those brooms for the hallway. Just like, uh, you know, a little additional decor. So, okay. So a couple other things that I, <laughs> that I wanted to show you guys. One of my friends on, one of my internet friends, my online friends, I've known her for a few years now. She is a fellow witch. She makes her own concoctions. She does herb stuff. She makes a lot of healing um, salves and lotions and just all this amazing stuff. So I will link her information in the description box. She goes by the Cancer Moon Tarot, I believe. The Cancer Moon Mystic, the Cancer Moon Mystic. She changed her name, I remember. But her name is Cindy. And she decided to give me, gift me, send me her deck, the Ghoulish Garbs Tarot, Terror Tarot, blah, 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 blah. It's like a, <laughs> like a tongue twister. So you guys remember when I was showing the, the decks that I, um, you know, that are on my wish list, like fall decks or spooky decks that I want to get? This guy has been on my wish list for many, many, many months, probably a solid year. It comes up on my recommendations whenever I am scrolling 
Amazon. So I guess Cindy was going to be rehoming some of her decks and she had this one and she asked me if I would like to have it because she was going to be getting rid of it anyway. So thank you, Cindy. I know you watch my videos and thank you, my love, for sending me your deck. I did receive it and I love it. <laughs> I love the box. I love the way it feels. It has like this satiny, this satiny feel to it. And it's definitely going to be one that I pull and use for my spooky readings that are coming up September through October. It has a guidebook. The guidebook is full color. It's actually really cute the way that it's done. And then she put the deck, she put the cards in order for me. <laughs> So I thought that was funny because we are totally the same. I, I do the same too. When I rehome decks to people, I always put them in order. I love the inside of the box. You have a full moon and then you have the velvety space for the cards to go in. So it kind of reminds me of a little coffin and the cards themselves. That full moon is actually the card backs. So when I saw that, I was like pleasantly surprised because I thought that is so cute. Uh, you just get this feel of like the werewolf howling at the moon. I don't know. It's really pretty. And the way that the box feels is exactly how the cards feel. They have like this satiny, buttery, velvety, I don't know, this feel to the cards. And it's actually kind of similar to the way it feels like skin. I, I know I've said that before with other decks. It feels like skin. If you own the Ocean Dreams Oracle by Danielle Noel, the cardstock of that deck is exactly how this feels. So um, the cards themselves, really, really spooky and fun. I will definitely uh, have to do a show and tell with this deck so that you guys could see the full thing. I do want to show a couple cards, though. We have the High Priestess. I loved to see that the High Priestess is Medusa. I love Medusa. I love working with Medusa. She came to me in a dream, and I just worked with her very sparingly here and there, but she is an amazing archetype to work with. Also, of course, the Empress and the Emperor. You have their vampire, queen and king. Cerberus is strength. I thought that was pretty interesting. I like that. The Hermit is the death, the, uh, I'm sure they're the creeper, I think the Grim Reaper, the one like he's the one that drives the, uh, little canoe to death, <laughs> the undertaker. I don't know, whatever his name is called. The one I love, this is probably my favorite out of the whole deck is death. It is the Sleepy Hollow scene with the headless horseman. I thought that was so clever. I love that. <laughs> I am so into Sleepy Hollow right now because of my Sleepy Hollow, my um, my my Headless Horseman decor pieces that I found. Oh my gosh, I love it. The devil, I love the devil. The devil kind of looks just like the way the devil would always look. I thought they should have done a little bit different. I would think like maybe like the devil from legends that movie with with um tom cruise or like i don't know just some i thought they would do something different with him i love the tower it is a spooky tree with the ghouls coming out that is a really cool card <laughs> the star is a sea is a siren i loved that too i thought that was a pretty cool choice of course the werewolf you have a werewolf for the moon Judgment is a witch. I love that. With the zombies raising the dead. I thought that was pretty cool. That's pretty clever for Judgment. Yeah, really cute deck. Honestly, <laughs> seeing the artwork and just seeing how this deck is just for the Major Arcana. If they would have went ahead and done the entire tarot deck, I think this would have been an amazing one. I went grocery shopping the other day. <laughs> And obviously, like, as you're going into spooky season, you start to see, like, on the magazine racks, you start to see the ghost magazines and the horror magazines. And I'm one of those people where if I see it on the rack, I'm going to take it. So I do have a little collection of ghost magazines. I love to read ghost stories. I like to see haunted locations all around the world. Um, so I have a couple of these. They Every year, uh, they do a witch magazine. <laughs> 
So I don't know. I grew up in the in the, in the time of magazines and like what you know reading magazines all the time. That was like my, my thing when I was a teenager. So when I see them on the racks and I see something spooky, I always have to get it. So this is the latest one I got. It's called Ghosts: True Tales of Horror Stories to Chill Your Blood. <laughs> So I picked this one up and I'm definitely going to be reading some ghost stories and just kind of going through the magazine and seeing what spooky stuff it has. I think that's pretty much it for show for show and tell. <laughs> I did get another headless horseman. I will pop in some video of him. So I did find the Headless Horseman that lights up. He holds his little pumpkin, his little pumpkin head underneath his arm and he lights up. The unfortunate thing about him was that the foot unglued, <laughs> I guess like it's glued to this little platform thing. Well, the foot came off and then because it came off, the other one, the other leg broke. So I was very upset about it. The whole purpose of this Headless Horseman is that he stands up on his two feet. So I was a little bummed about it and I thought I wasn't going to be able to fix it. I thought I like, I thought he was gone. He was a goner. <laughs> so one evening we were in the kitchen and gluing my Headless Horseman back together. Luckily, because it wasn't in pieces, I was able to glue everything back together. We're able to save the Headless Horseman. <laughs> <laughs> and he now stands on his own. Um, he's definitely going to be a very fragile decor piece. So, so when I'm ready to pack everything up, he will definitely be wrapped up and placed in the box because I just cannot have him breaking again. So other one, and I will pop in some footage too, my other Headless Horseman, I repainted. I decided I did not like the green that he originally came in. If you wanna see the original um, paint work that he was, go see my uh, part one Halloween haul video. I do show the Headless Horseman and um, he was green. He was like this like, kind of like this color green, like a dark, real dark foresty green. And I prefer the the look of all black for the Headless Horseman. So we bought some spray paint and I went ahead and spray painted my Headless Horseman. And then that night after my husband went to work, I sat down and painted, I hand painted the pumpkin, which was a little bit of a project because the, you know, the paint had to go in multiple layers. But I was able to get the pumpkin to be a bright orange and he kind of looks a little rustic. And my husband, he decided to, he was like, I like the way it looks rustic. So I ended up leaving it as is. So it's not a full, like fully covered orange, but it looks really good. So super excited about that. I think it looks so much better. And speaking of decorations, I did start decorating my house. Two, about two days ago, I did start. I started the kitchen. The kitchen is probably about, I would say, 90% decorated. 90% <laughs> because the other 10%, there is still a couple ghosty decorations that I have yet to unpack from my tubs. So I do still have a couple items that I need to find homes for. I'm also waiting for a shipment from Joann's. I will put a picture here. I ordered a haunted house cookie, like one of those cookie jars. It's a ceramic haunted house. And I ordered her on the 19th and we are now on the 26th, 25th, 26th, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm like, when is my item going to ship? I ordered it on a Saturday night. So <laughs> I have to be patient, but I'm like anxious for it because I want to make sure I get one. Like it was in stock when I ordered it and I want to put it next to my Keurig because I'm going to use it to hold my K cups. So I have still a couple pieces that I need to put in the kitchen before the kitchen is finalized but i did set up my spooky town it's so cute i have to add the batteries to everything so there's still a lot to do 
<laughs> but I had to give myself a break because I was decorating like a mad woman. And I didn't really, I didn't injure my back, but moving around and lifting things and this and that and being on my feet, like I just, my back started to hurt, my lower back. And I do have a, I have a lower back injury from like 2010 when I was working one of the libraries. And I, I, I bent over wrong and I pretty much like pulled a muscle and it's never been the same. Like once you injure your back, it will never be the same. Every once in a while, if I over exert myself and I do too much lifting or I have to be careful lifting, like I really don't lift heavy things anymore. Uh, I have to be very careful because I can easily, I could easily uh, pull a muscle and or pinch a nerve or whatever and it hurts the back injury does hurt so it's very uncomfortable so i started to feel like that familiar pain of like okay if i keep doing this my back is going to go out and i can't do that so took a day off and then i took the day after that off and then here we are today <laughs> and i think i'm gonna hold off on decorating until the first of september yeah we need to have let's let's pause for some water Speaking of water, uh, the cup that I am using, this one is, oh my gosh, this is probably my favorite Starbucks cup that I own. <laughs> so let's do a little Starbucks talk. Funny story. So, okay, I have grown quite a collection of Starbucks cups. I think my first, my first one was the Unicorn from December. I think it came out in December. Or, I don't know. I saw that cup and I was like, ooh, this is really pretty. Let me, let me have it. There's a whole Starbucks cup craze. Like, I didn't even know that people go crazy over these things. Of course, I jumped on the bandwagon. I started to see updates. I started following accounts and I saw updates of like releases when new cups come out. And I realized, wow, there's like this whole cup collecting community and craze over this stuff. So I don't know when this cup came out, what, what release this one was. It's literally my favorite cup. It's like really dark green. And when you have the lighting that hits it just right, you can actually probably kind of see it. You could see a little sheen. It has like a sheen to it, that green. I don't know. I love this cup. It's just really pretty. I love the color green in all shades. It's my favorite. I had to give the glow in the dark one a break because I was using it for like two or three weeks straight. And so we are now on this guy. I don't know, I'm just not feeling the cups that they're putting out. I really wanted them to put out some kind of like pumpkins or like skeletons for Halloween. And it just doesn't look like they're coming out with anything like that. So I'm a little bit disappointed. And I was also hoping they would come out with something orange because I don't have an orange Starbucks cup. I'm kind of like, I'm holding out for some orange and purple because <laughs> those are the two colors that I don't really have in my collection. So I kind of, toned it down a lot with the Starbucks cup craze. It's really not a big deal to me as much right now, but I don't know. We'll see what else comes out. If they have anything else that, that comes out, that's good. What time is it? Okay. It's only 10 20. So I don't know you guys, I don't know what else to talk about. That's pretty much like everything that I wanted to share. I'm going to be putting out my Halloween offerings, my readings, the 1st of September. <sighs> Make sure you're subscribed to my newsletter. The, the information is in the description box um, because I'm gonna be putting out a September newsletter. But other than that, yeah, there's really nothing else major. There's nothing else major going on in my world. My, my life has been very chill, very quiet, very like relaxed, you know, which I love it that way. <laughs> I'm not complaining at all. It's been a very chill, probably a good month or so like I feel like August was uh, was a decent month I wish I had more to talk about um but I wanted to put a video out because it was starting to get to be a little bit too much time I do want to do some deck reveal videos so maybe I will film a couple of those later in the weekend maybe well we're in the weekend right now so maybe next week it just depends on my schedule how if I have bookings and stuff I was actually really busy with bookings this last week which was nice but this coming week, we'll see. So if I don't have too much going on with one-on-one -on -one sessions, I will film a couple deck reveals because I do want to put some Halloween-y decks out for you guys to see. Like just some like, 
you know, just, just some deck lust. I want to put some deck lust out there for you guys and give you guys enough time to order your, your cards and stuff so that you have them for spooky season. So maybe we'll do that. Other than that, I think that's going to be it. I will probably just let you guys go. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. I, go, I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you guys in my next video and we will talk more spooky stuff. We will talk more tarot, more spirituality. Um, but until then, take care of my loves and I will see you guys later. Bye.